The land of Africville was first purchased by William Brown and William Arnold in 1848. The first church was then built in 1849, beginning their sense of community. Eighty people resided on the land, which then became named Africville. They were descendants from three main groups, the Black Loyalists, the Jamaican Maroons, and the refugees from the War of 1812. When the land was first bought, the area was rocky, hard to farm, and undesirable, making it cheaper. In the early years, the community thrived and acted as a cultural hub for black communities around Halifax. Once the Industrial Revolution happened, the land became desirable, and the city changed the land designation from residential to industrial in the 40s. This made it easier to expropriate the land 20 years later. Before the land was actually expropriated, the city tried to push the community out by moving in undesirable industries including the dump, infectious disease hospital, an abattoir, an incinerator, and a prison. In the early 60s, city officials began preparing to relocate the residents, purposefully speaking to the elders in the community and bribing them with suitcases full of small bales of money. The bulk of the relocation happened between 1964 and 1967, with the last resident, Pa Carvery, leaving in 1970. In the 80s, the Africville Genealogy Society was formed, and they started the reunion in 1983, which is still going on today. In 1996, Africville was named a National Historic Site, and in 2003, the UN declared the expropriation of Africville as a human rights violation. An apology was given on behalf of the municipal government in 2010, and money was given to the Africville Heritage Trust in order to make an Africville memorial. There's currently a lawsuit being done by some former residents demanding compensation for their loss of home and property.